Mark Tassler with more racing coverage. Oh, you can see where I'm at. I'm inside of a big trailer right alongside another big trailer. We're back uh, in the pit area. There's some sprint cars out back there. Uh, teams are working on. Let me go inside of this big rig that I'm in, and I'm going to zoom in on this guy right here. He is red hot. We're talking to Dale Blaney out of Hartford, Ohio. Dale? How are you guys? I'm great. Good to have you here at Houston's, and hopefully tonight will go a little better than a week ago. Uh, yeah, hope so. Uh, always love coming here to Houston's. Great little track, great little town, and uh, we've run okay here in, at times, but uh, had a little rock around problem last week and pulled in, but uh, hopefully we can get a good time and run good all night long and see what we can do in the future. All right. Well, folks, let me tell you where we're at. We're at Houston Speedway on Sunday night, July 27th. And this will be the second consecutive week of the All-Star Circuit of Champions here at Houston Speedway. This man I'm talking to, Dale Blaney, he is the man that's on fire this year. Uh, he's a four-time champion with the All-Star Circuit of Champions. He leads the points this year, going for a fifth title, and uh, would become the first driver to ever win five championships with the All-Stars. Uh, and you've had, uh, oh man, you went over that 100 win mark uh, quite a while ago. You just got a couple wins up in North Dakota in the middle of the week. Things have been going all good, good all year long. We uh, haven't had too many problems. Every night we've gone to the track, we seem to have qualified good and put ourselves in good position. So we'll see. I mean, uh, hopefully we can ride the streak as long as it, uh, hopefully we can get through Knoxville and still stay on a hot streak. All right. Uh, Williston, North Dakota, Wednesday night, Thursday night. He won back to back up there. Last Sunday, one week ago from uh, when we're doing this interview, a uh, rocker arm problem uh, took him out of competition or took him out of contention for the win. Tonight he can go for that victory. 108, I believe, uh, is what he's got. 108 wins with the All-Star Circuit of Champions. Uh, and you've been traveling, traveling all over the country. Yeah, that means I've been doing it a long time, I guess, if I've got 108. <laughs> well, so. you, you know, you go back, uh, you also... Uh, uh, made some accomplishments with other organizations like the World of Outlaws. Yeah, we've uh, I've had a good career. This is actually year number 25 of me racing, so kind of a milestone. And hopefully, I got about four or five more good years left. So we'll see. But uh, turned 50 there last year, and uh, it's the best year I've had in a long time. And uh, looking forward to getting to 51, I guess. If you don't mind, I'd like to throw something in besides racing. This guy's a basketball player, or at one time was a big basketball player, drafted by the L.A. Lakers at one point. A uh, long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the yeah. mid-'80s. Oh, yeah. I went to West Virginia University and uh, had a great time playing. I actually played a little CBA at uh, Rapid City when they first came out here. Okay. So, yeah, basketball was a great thing. I mean, I got two loves in my life, basketball and racing, and I'm able to fortunate enough to do both of them at a pretty high level. Drafted by the L.A. Lakers, he decided to put basketball aside because his heart was in racing, and that was back in about 86 or somewhere in there. 87. And uh, he's been racing strong ever since. Uh, your family, uh, big in racing. What about your brother? Uh, Dave's actually coming back and running some sprint car stuff here lately. Uh, pretty much, I think, not really done with the NASCAR scene, but uh, really doesn't have you know, a full-time ride anymore, and um, nephew Ryan is doing really well. Got some truck races and uh, nationwide races, but yeah, Dave's going to be coming back and running more, and uh, hopefully a little bit more full-time next year. For the folks that may be watching this video that are not up to date on racing, of course, brother Dave Blaney we used to race outlaw sprint cars out here. He's been racing in NASCAR and so on, and we're uh, looking forward now finding out from Dale that he may be coming back. So, a lot of fun stuff. Uh, I'm going to let you go. I know you're getting ready to race. We're about an hour and a half away from race time. Good luck to you here, and congratulations on, I believe, the best season you've ever had this year. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Dale Blaney out of Ohio. He'll be driving this number 14K Outlaw Sprint Car that's way down at the end of this uh, big trailer that we're in. For racing, I'm Mark Tassler.